Oh my god! Oh my god! Heck yeah, what's up guys? We are at the garage. This is just gonna be one of those quick time videos. I'm over here just doing some regular maintenance on the Suburban, uh, replacing some brake lines because these were freaking nasty. Like it broke when I was just trying to break the fitting loose, just twisted and snapped right off that. So I'm doing some new brake lines pretty much all the way around. Uh, I'm not going to replace these rubber ones but I'm gonna try to replace all the hard lines. And that got me thinking, a while ago I was having a conversation with someone and I mentioned the whole using the wire as a template thing and they had no idea what I was talking about so I explained it to them and they were like, oh, that's super convenient, never thought to use it. So I figured I'd take the time to share that with you guys in case any of you may have not used it and you might need to do some brake lines coming up soon. So for that, all you'll need is some wire. Obviously you'll need the brake line and like the flare tools and all that shit. But for the most part, for this, for what I'm showing you, all you need is some wire. Preferably something pretty stiff. This, it'll, it seems to be holding. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So since holding that whole spool of wire and trying to finagle it around and bend it and stuff all at once is kind of a pain in the ass, the easiest thing to do is take like some stiffer wire that'll hold its shape wherever you bend it. Um, I usually like to use something a little stiffer than this, but this is all that I had. And you'll use this to make kind of like a template. So you'll start here, and then you'll just, it doesn't have to be super precise, but just something to give you a real close estimate on what it is that you're gonna be making. Come on. And then we'll come up and over like this allowing for a little bit of slop. So this is pretty much gonna be the shape of the brake line. Everything's really rough, but I like to account for a little bit of slop with that to begin with. So I know that I'm going to need this much brake line. So now I can go cut that and then uh, flare one end, make sure not to forget to put the fittings on because that sucks. Um, and then I can start bending it up and I'll have the exact right amount. I might be able to take a little bit off the end, but I can probably just use that as slop up above the uh, pig there. So I hope that helps somebody. I, uh, I know it's helped at least me so far. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.